the world of competitive cheerleading is getting a lot of attention lately, thanks in part to a new show on Netflix. But a local cheer team, check them out, will also soon be getting some national attention when they compete against the best teams in the country next week. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh shows us the athleticism and dedication of the Diamond Cheer Squad in Fall River. This certainly isn't what you see on the sidelines of a football game. Diamond's competitive cheer team will have the experience of a lifetime heading to nationals where they'll showcase their amazing skills and teamwork. Diamond Bengals T-R-D-T-H-S Yes! Every I, second I, counts I, 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 when you have just two and a half minutes to showcase the hours, days, and months of practice hey. all leading to this moment. Attitude! Nationals. It's been a dream for the Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School cheer team for years. You have like a certain score to get in order to qualify for nationals and thankfully we got it this year. They just missed that score last year, making it extra special for team captain Anthony Munez now in his senior year. I did play football here, but I ended up leaving the team to come to the cheer team. <laughs> In just months, he was flipping across the mat and lifting up his six female teammates figuratively and literally. To be a competitive cheerleader, you need to, one, want it. You have to want it. You have to be able to push yourself, and you have to dedicate yourself to this. It's as much about skills as it is about teamwork. Because if we hit the first stunt, we know everything else will run smoothly. The team had to switch up their routine to meet the standards of nationals. We're going to compete against a lot of people who have been running the same routine all year, whereas we've been running this routine maybe for about a month and a half. Coach Ashley Teasdale has been building the cheer program for nearly a decade. She said this particular group is magic. And sometimes it's just crazy, but at the end of the day, like, it's a killer team. And they are able to accomplish what they accomplish because they're together. The team heads down to Orlando, Florida for nationals on February 6th, and you'll be able to watch them on ESPN. In Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.